I'm about to launch my second product on Amazon. And to be completely honest, I'm terrified, which is crazy because the first product that I launched on Amazon did really well. And I wanted to make this video for a few different reasons. One of which was to give you my top piece of advice, the top thing I wish someone would have sat me down and told me when I first was on Amazon, when I first started you know, my Amazon business. But the other reason I wanted to make this video is tell you that, yeah, I'm still nervous, I'm still scared. And I remember when I was launching my first product, I was absolutely terrified. I, what would happen in my head is I'd have these spiraling negative thoughts. I'd think about how my business might fail and then uh, I might lose all my money and then I'll become homeless and all kinds of crazy thoughts. But I'm here to tell you that that's obviously not the case. So I wanna give you some tactics on how, you know, things I wish I would have known when I first started on Amazon. But I also wanted to tell you that it's completely normal to be terrified when starting any kind of entrepreneurial adventure and that you're gonna be okay. So let's talk tactics, like what actual advice, what things can you actually implement? Well, right off the bat, if you haven't even launched on Amazon yet, start a product launch group. I talk about this in a ton of my videos and I'll talk about it later why that's so important, but that's one of the biggest tactical pieces of the puzzle. But the truth is I could give you a million tactics. That's not what's important here. What's important here is for you to take that baby step, that next little baby step and actually launch your product if you haven't yet. It's also important to realize that you're not alone. If you're nervous about starting some kind of an entrepreneurial adventure or launching your first Amazon product, guess what? Everyone was. Everyone was nervous about launching their first Amazon product. People don't talk about it a lot of times, but here's, here's another secret. I'm launching my second product and even though my first one was wildly successful, I'm still terrified. I've been trying to launch this product for about a year now. And to be honest, I've been completely dragging my feet. I announced it to my product launch group a little over a year ago and told them, hey, I'm gonna be launching this cool new product. I want some feedback. And everyone's been wondering what's happening. Now I'm finally taking the steps to launch my second product. But like I said, I'm dragging my feet. And the reason is, is because I have these negative spiraling thoughts in my head. I think to myself that somehow if this new product fails, well then my business fails. And if my business fails, then uh, no one will want to watch my YouTube channel because I don't know what I'm talking about. Like this is a, like a real deep fear of mine. And if no one wants to watch my YouTube channel and my, my business fails, well then I'm gonna run out of money and then I'm gonna be homeless. And every single step of that is ridiculous. And I guarantee if you look at your own thinking patterns and the own, your own fear behind why you, know, you haven't launched your product yet or why you haven't done whatever entrepreneurial thing you haven't done yet, it's because of crazy thoughts like so let's just break my thoughts down really quick just to give you a quick example if my new product fails so what my my other product is still doing really well i'm still you know i made two hundred thousand dollars profit in the last year and a half from my first product so if my my new product fails whatever my business will be fine but even if somehow my business failed well guess what i'd probably post a video about it on youtube and it probably would do really well and you know what i'd do i'd go create another business and the same's true for you and let's say even if somehow uh, youtube decided to delete my channel and my business failed i still wouldn't be homeless i've got some money in the bank and even if i didn't with that i have friends and family that would let me stay with them but that's what i'm trying to point out here is every step of the negative thinking is just illogical poor thinking and i'm sure the same is true with you. If you're watching this video, there's probably some part of you that wants to do something entrepreneurial, wants to launch your Amazon product and hasn't yet for whatever reason. So that's some philosophical advice, but that's kind of meaningless without some actual tactics. How do you actually get over this fear? And again, I know I've said it about a hundred times, but the product launch group is one of the best ways to get over the fear. Uh, some other ways, some other things to think about are having surrounding yourself with friends or family members or whatever you can that have some kind of entrepreneurial experience, someone that can be a mentor to you. And I've recently, only recently have I started actually having people in my life that are mentors, but even friends, even people that are struggling along with you is so important. And I do have a, a Facebook group. You can check it out. I'll put a link down below. You can meet people in there. You can talk with people. If you don't have a tribe, a group of people to go through the struggle with, it's so much harder. If you watch any Disney movie, any kind of movie like that, you always see that there's a main character who's struggling out on their own and they, they fail whatever they're trying to do. And then they get a band of 
support characters and they overcome the obstacle. You are this main character, you need your support characters. I, I know when I was first starting with entrepreneurship, I thought I could do everything on my own. Newsflash, you might be able to. Maybe there's a chance you'll have some success doing that, but if you can summon a tribe and get people together, it's so much easier and you all support each other and you know you all do better together. So that's one piece of advice. Next is look at the patterns in your life. I know when I look at the patterns in my life, I see every time I have a big failure, something amazing happens from it. This, this is a repeating pattern. Every time I have this failure, this depression, this anxiety, something absolutely amazing happens. This, this first started when I was in my corporate job. I got extremely depressed, like more depressed than I've ever been in my life. I absolutely hated all aspects of my life. So what did I do? Well, I quit my job. That, that feeling of being stuck and depressed led to me quitting my job, entrepreneurship, you know, getting my freedom. If I, if I wouldn't have been depressed, even though I hated being depressed at the time, if I wouldn't have been, I never would have had the courage to quit and actually start my own business. Then after I quit my job, I started my first online business. I started a dance clothing business with my mom that struggled. I really didn't make that much money. And at the time, I was really upset. I'm like, man, I'm, tr I'm putting so much work into this and it's just not that profitable. And I felt like a failure. I had, you know, not nearly as bad depression, but like this feeling of just being a failure at life. So what did that lead me to do? Well, it led me to say, you know what? Why don't I create a product that I really believe in, a product that I'm really passionate about, which, that idea, that thought train led to me creating Performance Nut Butter, which is obviously very profitable for me. And I'm telling you all these stories so you can start noticing the patterns in your own life. It's really ridiculous when you start looking at it. A lot of times the things that you're scared of end up leading to some of the great successes of your life. In the book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, he interviewed 500 of the most successful people, the wealthiest people at the time uh, when he wrote the book, and he found a pattern. 99% of the most successful people found that their biggest success, their biggest success came right after their biggest failure. Failures aren't good. You don't want to go after them, but they are a clean slate. So anytime you feel like a failure, anytime you have that fear, it's a chance. It's, it's basically the universe letting you know, hey, something big is about to happen. I want you to realize that fear, anxiety, depression, that's part of a story. That's what makes a story so good. I, I want you to do something. The next time you watch a movie, pay attention. Every good story, like literally every good story out there follows a similar pattern. And at some point in the movie, there's a low point. There's this point where the hero feels like everything is hopeless. You know, they're, they're not gonna even try to do whatever the main thing that they wanna do is. But that's what makes it interesting because when they overcome the obstacle, that's when we clap, that's when we love it. If a story was just like, hey, uh, a character wants to do something, oh, it's pretty easy to do and he does it, that'd be super boring. This actually is the reason why, I actually painted, it's not a very good painting, I painted this painting over here just as a reminder that every day when I walk by it, as a reminder that every good story arc starts with a hero, which is you. You are the hero of your story. Finding something out, like basically, you know, it starts with them uh, in the movie, starts with a hero in his everyday life, and there's some new opportunity, and usually the hero resists at first and they don't wanna do it, but eventually they dive in and they try out this opportunity, and at some point, everything feels hopeless. And if you, that's one of my big pieces of advice, at some point in your Amazon journey, everything is gonna be hopeless. Now, you got two choices, right? You can quit, you can quit and just say, I'm done with this, I don't like this feeling, or you can overcome it. And I'm gonna give you a hint, you're, you're gonna overcome it. Like most of the things that we're afraid of, most of the fears that we have with entrepreneurship or life in general are actually really easy to overcome. I know when I was first starting to sell on Amazon, I had this fear of, well, how am I gonna ship my products to Amazon? Turns out it's really easy. Okay, okay, well, eventually I'm gonna need to start shipping pallets full. Uh, like how do I ship from my house a pallet full of my Amazon products into Amazon? Again, it turns out it's really easy. How am I gonna manufacture my product? Well, that's a good example right there, right? How are you gonna manufacture your product? There are companies that literally their entire business model revolves around helping you out. Every step of the journey feels like this thing that's gonna be super hard to overcome, and it just isn't. And as I'm talking, I'm, I'm partially making this video for me, because like I said at the beginning of the video, I am still absolutely terrified about launching my new product. 
my production run is going to cost probably about $55,000. And that's a lot of money. Now keep in mind, I've, I've done pretty well with my first product, so I can afford to put $55,000 into a production run. But if it doesn't go well, I'm going to lose all that money. Now, how do we make sure? How do we make sure the production run does go well? Well, first off, you can never fully make sure anything's going to do well, right? There's always a chance that whatever you do is going to fail. But we can, we can lower the odds. We can limit the chances that things don't go wrong. And I've, I've hinted at it a hundred times already. Product launch group. This is a big thing. You want to validate that your product is a good idea at every step of the way. Now, what I do is I create first an Instagram. Do people follow my Instagram account for whatever the product is I'm going to create? Okay, they do. Uh, I put an email little thing, like an email capture in the bio, like a link to an email capture. And in the email capture, I offer, you know, for a chance to win a free uh, box of performance nut butter, you know, put your email here. Do people fill that out? Because if nobody fills that out, then your product isn't that interesting. The next step, can you get them to join uh, a product launch group? And a product launch group, since I've, I've kept hinting, I didn't mean to do this, but I kept hinting at it, it's a Facebook group. You basically get a Facebook group and you invite all your friends, all your family, sure, but that's not the point of it. You invite all your potential customers, all these people that are interested in your product, you get them into this Facebook group. And here's the key, this is why it's so important. They help you develop a great product. Are you scared if your product's gonna sell? Well then get the advice of other people. So what I did for my product, for instance, is I wasn't sure what the logo should look like. So I ran a 99 designs campaign, which a bunch of designers basically give you different logos. And I showed to my launch group all the different logos and I said, hey, which logo do you guys like the best? Made my decision so much easier because it's, Entrepreneurship can be extremely lonely. You're stuck in a room. This is obviously this is where I work every day. You're stuck somewhere where you're just constantly trying to make decisions by yourself. That's hard to do. So obviously, like I said, get a mentor, get some friends because they're going to help you make the decisions. But outside of that, start a product launch group and have people that are actually going to be your customers give you feedback. In fact, the product launch group is how I came up with the idea for my second product. So obviously I have the original flavor of performance nut butter, which is just macadamia, coconut, cashew. And I was deciding, should I do a cacao flavor or a cinnamon flavor? And I prefer cinnamon. I think that would taste really good. And my launch group, I asked them to vote on it and they overwhelmingly voted for the chocolate, like cacao flavor. Cool. So I, that's market research. That's real market research. If I would have made the decision by myself, I would have went with the cinnamon one. I would have made a mistake. So I leveraged their opinions. All right, next thing, what should I name it? Should it be chocolate or should it be cacao? Uh, and then I did another vote and they said cacao with Himalayan sea salt. Dang, that sounds nice. I show them what the package design looks like. And they said, yeah, that looks really good. Here's some things that you might want to consider. But even, even with all that validation, I did market research. I went on to uh, Amazon and you can use Jungle Scout. There's a free Jungle Scout tool where you can estimate the sales of your competitors. And I realized that all my competitors, their number one selling product was a chocolate flavored nut butter. And so using that information, I know my product's gonna be a winner, but I'm still terrified. I've been working with, uh, I've been working with my manufacturer and designers and I've just been so slow to respond to emails. It takes a few days. Why? Because I'm nervous. It's, it's $55,000 that I'm going to be putting on the line. So look, do yourself a favor. First off, get a mentor if possible. I only recently, and I have basically, I have friends that also happen to be mentors. They're, they're friends of mine that are way more successful at business than I am. So that's the first one, get a mentor. And I know that's really popular advice. Everyone says that, and I struggled with it. It took me a long time to find a quote unquote mentor, but Here's some, some free advice for you. YouTube is full of mentors. You can, for instance, hit that subscribe button. That's all I do is make videos about how to improve your Amazon sales. You can also hire me and I'm not, I don't really want you to hire me, but you can hire other mentor people. You can pay money. And that's something I've only recently started doing. And I know everybody wants to find a mentor for free, but understand anybody that is smart enough and is successful enough that you would want them to be your mentor it's probably worth paying them a little bit. You know, we all want a, a free mentor, but that's not always the case. The second thing, like I said, friends, find some friends, do meetup.com. Uh, you can join my Facebook group, find other people that are at the same level as you. But even if you do all these and you, you know, obviously the product launch group, which I keep harping on, even if you do all these things, you're still going to make mistakes. 
no matter how hard you try. You can't outthink your way out of making mistakes. It's just, that's like the law of the universe. I spend so much time up in my head trying to figure out how can I save the most money? How can I make sure things are successful, blah, blah, blah. You can't. I, have, I had a few $10,000 plus mistakes. I bought some macadamia nuts for my first round. This is my very first round of nut butter. I had some macadamia nuts sent and my manufacturer said, sorry, we can't use those. I spent the next two days in a panic. Luckily, I was able to finagle my way and return a pallet full, that's a thousand plus pounds of macadamia nuts, back to the person I bought it from, which is pretty rare. I also made a mistake. I thought people were gonna want jars of my product. It turns out I didn't properly test it. The, the lids leaked oil. I ended up having to throw away about $10,000 worth of product. Now, here's the cool thing. Even though I threw away $10,000 worth of product, I still made my money back. And that's another thing that I wanna express in this video is you are gonna make mistakes, but they're usually not as bad as you think. Like I said, I had a product, the jars, that was a complete failure, but I still did enough in sales. I probably sold half of them and I had to throw away half of them. I did enough in sales where I got my money back and it really wasn't that big of a deal. I, in fact, I learned something. So the biggest lesson I've learned on Amazon in entrepreneurship ultimately is done is better than perfect. You're gonna make mistakes, but if you spend months in your head trying to decide, should I go this way or should I go this way? It's never, you're never gonna actually make progress. But if you do go the wrong way, cool, cut it, you take your losses, and now you know for sure to go the other way. And you'll learn these lessons. Obviously, you know, think about it a little bit. Don't just go out and fail on purpose. I think that there's this culture in entrepreneurship that you should constantly be failing. No, spend some time and actually try to do it correctly, but don't be afraid to make mistakes because mistakes just make it more clear the next time you need to make a decision what decision you should make. And every time you make these little mistakes, you're getting a little bit better. You're training your brain on what is the right path to take. So use all these tools to make a better decision, but ultimately realize you don't have to do it on your own. I absolutely recommend starting a product launch group before you even launch on Amazon. I did a video all about how to start a launch group, how to utilize a launch group right here. Check out this video. And remember most importantly, to enjoy the journey.